<laughs> Questions for Isaiah. What um? We're taking over at a CBU. Uh, you know, I guess what's your mindset like uh, heading into the season and, and being the guy? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's really not even about that. It's just about getting better. You know, last season I did some things, but, you know, I also did some things that I want to improve on. And it's also this year I've had the chance to come into more of a leadership role on the team, and uh, on the whole team and on the defense specifically. So it's really just stepping into that role, taking advantage of it, accepting it. And like you say, you said, being that guy, there's shoes to fill. Garrett was a great player. Um, if he was a great player before him. And so, like you said, this is a, a school that can be considered CBU. And so, um, for me, it's just about um, living up to that and also living up to my own expectations and being what the team needs. What was it that, that I guess, can you, can you walk me through the process? Of, there aren't that many guys that come from an Ivy to Syracuse. Just like what yeah. that process was like and how you ended up here? Uh, the process was interesting. You know, I actually finished all four years at, at my Ivy League school, so I got my diploma, and I just felt like I still needed some more development before I went and chased my dreams of going to the NFL. And so the process was looking for a school that had that, had coaches who were going to try and develop me and be a little more patient with me. And then once I got here, it was just about adjusting to the speed of the game a little bit, but then just getting into that mindset of okay I belong and I'm meant to be here and then after that you just play football it's a game I've been playing my whole life. Did you feel like you had a shot at the NFL um, out of Dartmouth or you would have had to go the, the training camp and, and this is the way to avoid yeah. it right get drafted instead? Or, yeah I mean you know the Ivy League gets its own knock because the, the people say the competition isn't that good but I, I, I believe that if you're a good player teams will find you and I, I did have a draft grade coming out of the Ivy League so I did have a chance to go but like I I said I did my dreams were never just to make the league it was to come in and dominate so I felt like I still had some more room to grow and so that's why I decided to go for my extra years of eligibility who uh, who else what other schools did you look at and where did Syracuse first sort of contact you and, and come into the picture interesting enough Syracuse was the first school to contact me um, coach Monroe who unfortunately isn't here anymore he reached out to me but other than them it was a lot of teams Colorado was one of the main teams. Vanderbilt was one of them. And then some came later down the road. But the relationship had just already been built so much with Syracuse. And when I came on my official visit, it felt like I really belonged. Was that the main reason you picked Syracuse? Just you had a longer period of communication and you felt good about it? Yeah, it, that, was, that was part of the main reason. But then, again, like I said, it was very much so a business decision for me on deciding what school to go to. Like I said, I had dreams of the league. And so it really was about that development aspect. And they had Coach West here, who, again, unfortunately left. And he, he's great at developing players. And now I even got uh, lucky again when we brought in Coach uh, Travis Fish, um, who played in the league and has a great resume. So, again, it's just this chance to continue to develop and continue to get better. So forgive me, I wasn't around last year. Yeah, no worries. So, so I don't know how they used you. Were you strictly you know one side um boundary like how, how did you get used last year and then is that changed now this year uh, so last year we actually didn't do so much of a boundary and field side um i played a lot of special teams obviously to start the season and then i got a chance to start up when um, garrett went down with his injury and so in that moment i was playing both sides um with uh, deuce and now that we have uh, a lot more younger guys and I'm the older guy in the room, I've gotten a chance to play in the boundary to be more up press and up uh, personal with receivers. And I'm enjoying that aspect, but whatever coach needs for me is, is what I'm, I'll be willing to do for the team. With like sort of your assignment last year, was it, was it based on the other team's personnel, uh, sort of who you would take and, and who Juice would take, or, or how did that get worked out? Not so much. I mean, during games, we, we, we would adjust if, if necessary, but still it was just whatever the team needed in the moment. And right now, we, we all believe in the players that we have, and so it's not so much where we have to put somebody on somebody. Um, we'll see how the season goes, but it's just everybody's ready to play their position. Isaiah, you look at you were talking about obviously being here and that connection to the league. Just what it means to you these last couple of years to see defensive backs not only make it, but to be high draft picks and be successful. It means a lot. It means I have a chance to, like I said, go after my dream and play in the league. And like like I keep saying, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's, it's about development. It's about getting better, and it's about making sure when I make it in the league, I, I stay in the league. How do you keep developing when there's these coaching changes? Just what you could say about kind of navigating through that. Uh, it's it's difficult I'll say, I'll say that much but at the same time you have to be your own motivator you have to be your own coach sometimes and you have to really look at your own game and be able to watch film on your own and really just 
analyze and evaluate yourself constantly. Like I said, Coach West was a great coach and he, he helped me when he was here. And now that Coach Fisher is here, he's been helping me a lot too. But it's all, all the same. You've been playing this game since you were a little kid. So it's like, you really are your own, your own um, coach, own evaluator the whole time and just trying to get better every day. You said you're your own coach. So how do you assess yourself at this point? At this point, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. There's some things that I, I, I want to clean up. Um, but technique-wise, Coach Fish, is, uh, he's a technician. He, like I said, he played nine years in the league, so he really knows what he's talking about. So right now, I'm just trying to be a sponge. I'm trying to show, soak everything in. Anything he says, I'm trying to hear it. I'm trying to do it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll adjust and we'll, we'll talk, it, talk it out. So, yeah. Rocky Long coming in. I mean, obviously, you had the opportunity to work with Tony White, but now with Rocky Long, it's, it's kind of like replacing Luke Skywalker with Yoda. So what can you say about that? <laughs> uh, Coach Long is a genius. He's a genius. And honestly, there's a there's a learning curve right now and we're all we're all trying to um, just come together and mesh as, as a whole defense and really try and get to that point where we know we're solid and we know we can play the defense that Coach Long wants us to play. Isaiah, can you speak just the camaraderie of, of the defensive backs and just your defense as a whole? You guys are out there clapping your hands, smack talking with the wide receivers. Yeah. Just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm a I'm a person who likes to have fun. My 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 corners like to have fun. We like to come out here and just it's a, like I like I said, it's a game we've been playing since we were kids, and so. When we get to come out here, be with our brothers and be with our friends and just clap up, talk a little smack and, and play ball, it's just, it makes the day go by a little faster and it makes football a lot of fun. How did, how did you think you did against the wide receivers today? I'm going to leave that for y'all. I'm going to leave that for y'all <laughs> y'all y'all to guess on that one. You talked Last about emerging. You talked about emerging just as a leader, kind of like what leadership style are you hoping to carry throughout the season? Uh, I'm, I'm a talker, <laughs> I, but I also do prefer to lead by example. So I'm not going to try and tell anybody to do something that I'm not willing to do. And I hope that we can all, as leaders in the leadership group that Coach Long has put together, we can all be examples for everybody on this team. And we can be some people who build the culture ourselves and not, not leave it up to the coaches to dictate everything, but it'd be really on us as players. Is there um, any aspect of your game in particular that you spend some more sort of working on and really trying to improve? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a long DB, so press man is what people expect of me, but I want to be able to get out of my breaks and off man. So that was something that I really focused on and playing with lower leverage and being able to play whether it's up on the line of scrimmage and shutting somebody down like that or playing off and being able to read routes. Right. Thank you.